This video could be subtitled A Tale of Two Cathedrals. Two cathedrals in the city of Liverpool in the northwest of England, Roman Catholic and Anglican, hosting One Church, One Faith, One Lord, a week-long international summer school organised by the Royal School of Church Music. International it certainly is, with delegates from, amongst others, China, Africa, America and New Zealand. It was really an opportunity to come and experience this side of the world and to meet new people and to make some beautiful music with you know, a, a group of people who are all you know, really on the same wavelength and all working towards that purpose of one church, one faith, one Lord. It's just really nice to see that um, obviously God's church kind of spreads across the world and, um, and that everyone's willing to make an absolute trek across the world in order to um, just seek knowledge from other people and, and be part of a fellowship. We've got an international connection that goes way back decades, uh, almost to the foundation of the, the Royal School, and I think very anxious that we should keep it going. There was a wide range of services during the week, from the more formal Anglican matins and even song and a Catholic mass and choral vespers, to the less formal, contemplative worship. Scottish morning prayer, albeit in a Catholic cathedral crypt, and back in the Anglican cathedral, Lutheran Vespers. It's very varied, but the thread that goes through it all is the idea of our unity in the faith, and there's a lot of commonality in the liturgy and indeed in the music. Overlapping with the International School has been the summer course of the RSCM's Millennium Youth Choir. They've had their own busy week of intensive rehearsals, services, concerts and a live broadcast. But it's not just endless singing. Lots of them don't have regular singing lessons at all, so it's important that they know how to stand well, how to look after the voice in, and having good health, so that when we have these very intensive rehearsals, as we do, that, that hopefully by the time we've finished, after five or six days, the voices are still in good trim. nice things about this group is that unlike many summer schools, these all have a church music background, they all sing in their, their own churches. So they come with a degree of liturgical understanding and a real will to make music part of the, the, the liturgical diet. And that's very important. So it's really nice to be able to put them into a procession and they just know how to do processions, that sort of thing. Um, and then you really challenge them with the music and we find ourselves giving them a very broad repertoire. Good. When it comes to repertoire, there have been plenty of musical flavours and styles for delegates to sample and take away. I think we're trying to say to people that there is music for all occasions and music can be used very creatively and there is no reason why you can't blend certain different styles of music um, creatively in a service but you need to be thinking where the common thread is. And the common thread might be in style, it might be in tempo, it might be in uh, theological theme. There's all sorts of ways of doing it. We don't have to sing as it were um, Tompkins with Tompkins or um, Iona with Iona or whatever it is. Here we go, one and two. Amen. Obviously I will take back lots of little bits of details and things that I've learnt about singing and singing particular things and I shall take them back and I shall hope to, to um, relay them to my, to my own particular choir. And I've learnt a lot about how to accompany psalms with variety of tones, changing from one verse to the other. And if I ask the question, how quickly can you set up the different registrations moving from one verse to another? And uh, I got all the tricks. <laughs> There's always opportunities to learn and um, I think that's the best thing about life really is that <laughs> you put up your hand and say actually I don't know nearly as much as half these people here and so to be able to drink up their knowledge and ask them questions and be able to sort of learn from them and say no, 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 try it like this and come back and say oh, okay, you learn so much so yeah, it's a brilliant opportunity. Uh, the, the highlights so far would be um, the Millennium Youth uh, um, concert 
the other evening, and also singing with them at the, uh, the Metropolitan Cathedral yesterday, and BBC uh, live broadcast was thrilling. Yeah.